uh, my whole career I followed my gut. I, it was like I was literally getting punched in the stomach. Like, say no, say no. Kane Brown just made an unbelievable decision. He's basically reached the top of his career in country music. But now, Kane is taking a step back. And the reason why will shock you. Kane is currently touring the country. The tour has been hugely successful. But when Kane stops touring in mid-June, he announced that he will be taking a step back from music too. He reassured everyone that he's just taking a break. This is what Kane told ET Online during the 2023 Stagecoach Festival. We're taking a couple months off coming up. I don't know what I'm going to do. But Kane said something mysterious. He told E.T., you know, whatever's there, I'm going to try to pursue it. I have an idea about what Kane wants to pursue. If you didn't catch Kane on TV recently, a guest starred on a television drama called Fire Country. Apparently, Kane enjoyed that experience so much, he hinted that he's open to doing more acting jobs. Kane even said something crazy. He's considering the possibility of acting with his wife, Caitlin, which kind of makes sense. Their hugely popular video for Thank God is more than enough proof that Kane and Caitlin have serious on-screen chemistry. But Kane also has an obvious personal reason to take a breather. He and Caitlin have two little girls. His oldest daughter, Kingsley, is three, and her little sister, Cody, is just one year old. Kane revealed some private plans. He admitted that he just bought property in Florida, and Kane said his little girls just went to the beach for the first time. Kane confessed that everyone loved it, and he and Caitlin are looking forward to making family memories for the next few months, too. Kane and Caitlin have always put their kids first. If you need any proof of that, you should see Kane's kid proof tour bus. It's renovated completely so the whole family can travel together in comfort. Tour bus is so stunning. Caitlin even uploaded a personal tour of the bus to her Instagram in March. She started the video tour by talking about their bus driver, and she said that he was near and dear to their hearts and just like family. Caitlin also showed us Kane's favorite seat on the bus. It's a seat that's right next to the bus driver. And there were kids' baby bottles on the seat, so it's obvious that the kids sit up there with Kane, too. Then something shocking happened in Caitlin's video. Kane showed up, and he told us one of his favorite parts of the bus. Kane reclined fully on the smooth, velvety-looking couch. He said that was the perfect place to watch movies. The bus honestly just looked unbelievable, and Caitlin said that they spent most of the last year on it, so it has to be like home. There's plenty of room for the whole family, and Caitlin admitted something crazy. They apparently bring their two dogs on tour, too. There's also a full kitchen on the bus, which is designed in a farmhouse style. Caitlin said the design reminds of her full house time in Tennessee. There are also some impressive features on the bus to ensure the kids' safety, like mesh dividers over the bump beds where the kids sleep. The mesh can be zipped up to make sure the kids don't fall out when the bus is moving. Kane and Caitlin's master bedroom on the bus is super cool too. Their bed is personalized and you won't believe what's underneath the bed. There are dog crates built in so their dogs have a comfy place to sleep too. It all sounds like a pretty cushy lifestyle, but Caitlin admitted to something shocking about life on the road. She confessed on Instagram that she and Kane can get so exhausted. Although when Caitlin sees the photos and videos she's taken on tour, she realizes they are making unforgettable memories while Kane works. Caitlin says she she realizes how blessed they are. Kane and Caitlin really seem to think of everything when it comes to touring with their entire family, and Kane has a shocking reason for why he puts his family first. Last year, Kane revealed some insane details about his childhood. During an interview with CBS this morning, Kane confessed that he had to grow up faster than the normal person. Shockingly, Kane was physically harmed as a young child, and the worst thing about his cruel mistreatment was that it came at the hands of Kane's stepfather. One insane incident that Kane had to suffer involved a bar of soap. His stepfather made Kane eat half a bar of soap as punishment. Kane also experienced racism as a child. He opened up about a painful incident involving his first girlfriend. Kane said that the girl's father made them break up, and the father reason was cruel. Kane said the girl's father didn't want her dating a black boy, and it broke Kane's heart. But instead of becoming negative and bitter over his crazy childhood, Kane made a promise to himself. He said that he wanted to make sure his kids enjoyed the life he never had. And Kane is keeping his promise when it comes to his wife and kids. Kane also made a shocking confession during his headline performance at this year's Stagecoach Festival. He addressed the huge crowd bravely and honestly. Kane asked the crowd, how many of you go through depression? Unbelievably, Kane said, don't be scared. I go through it. Kane revealed that he and Caitlin had both struggled with their mental health. And people in attendance at Stagecoach claimed that Kane's set brought emotional closeness with his audience to a new level. By the end of Kane's show, he had the crowd in the palm of his hands. But Kane waited until the end to deliver a highlight for the audience. Kane asked the crowd if he could bring his wife out to sing. As everyone went crazy with joy and excitement, Caitlin appeared on the stage and she and Kane delivered a flawless performance of their hit, Thank God. That wasn't the only time Kane appeared with a lady on stage this year. He also co-hosted the 2023 CMT Awards with none other than Kelsey Ballerini. It was Kane's fourth time co-hosting the CMTs. In 2020, Kane made his co-hosting debut at the CMTs, and he admitted to some crazy feelings before he went out on that stage. Kane confessed that he felt super nervous. This was because hosting an award show was so new to him, but Kane loves it now. So, does Kane feel the same way about his acting debut this year? Kane made some revealing confessions in a TV Insider article. He got asked how he ended up guest starring on Fire Country. Kane confessed that he's a big fan of the show, and Kane also said that he's always been interested in acting. But at first, the Fire Country production team apparently approached Kane for a different reason. According to Kane, the show wanted to use his song Ride on the soundtrack for an episode. Kane started talking about the song with him, then the conversation changed to another subject. The Fire Country team wondered if Kane wanted to appear in an episode. Kane admitted to something crazy. He said he jumped at the chance, and he was so happy that the Fire Country cast was so encouraging. Kane played an interesting character on the show. His character's name is Robin, and Robin is an outlaw train hopper. Kane revealed to TV Insider how he got the Robin character. Kane said that Robin had some mystery to him, and he said that Robin found himself in a shocking situation. The character had to decide whether he was going to help other people or just worry about himself. Kane called his first ever acting gig fun, and he enjoyed learning what motivated the character. It sounds like Kane has the instincts to be a great actor, so when TV Insider asked him whether he wants to keep acting, you won't believe what he said. Kane admitted he's keeping a list in his head. On that list are possible roles that Kane would love to play, but if you're worried about Kane giving up music completely, he also confessed that he wants to 
act and also do the soundtracks for his acting projects. So it doesn't sound like Kane will be giving up music anytime soon. But anyway, what do you guys think about all this? Did you see Kane's episode of Fire Country? What do you think about him taking a couple months off from music to pursue acting? 